can't say I slept well tonight because Alexander was coughing, but five hours is a little bit better than four. Still feeling a little bit tired though. I can usually manage pretty well without sleep, without uh, like shutting down my brain. But Amanda, on the other hand, she's one of those persons that needs sleep to be able to function. So today she's getting to sleep in. Alex still has a little bit of a fever, but it's going the right direction. Listen to self, do not have the coffee cup standing in the couch without a tray. I can slow down. You, you should focus on that. You should try to get that off the off the ground, and then we can talk next week about this. Yeah. So you you wanna you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi. Just feeling super down. I'll let you. I'll let you know why later. Peter will let you know why later. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know next week. Okay. If you don't follow Joey, head over there and show him some support. Oh, how are you doing? I am just having a very quick visit to the studio today because I'm gonna head back into Gothenburg to make a recheck on the uh, surgery and how everything is going with the arm. And then I'm probably gonna have to head back to the studio because there's still a lot of things to do and I want to talk about uh, vlogging and daily vlogs and things that we've been doing for the last two, two and a half weeks. Hey! Hey! Is it good with you? Yes. It is very good? Yes. What do you say? <laughs> YouTube has been missing you. Aha! Uh -huh. so, I'm so sorry. What do you have wise words of today? When it's raining outside, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> I just finished up yesterday's vlog. It took me approximately an hour. And I have a doctor's appointment at 2 p.m. Good, no worries at all. I'm gonna wait uh, two months more before I go to the next visit and hopefully I'm gonna be off blood thinners from the next visit and forward. Hey. Trying to maximize the amount of footage that I get before heading back to the studio. So one time lapse here and one time lapse right there. I usually let it run for somewhere between five and 10 minutes to make sure that I get enough footage that I can use in the vlog. One of the best things about going out to shoot top notes, that's all y'all. Sport, right? Sport, right? One of the best things about capturing time lapses like this is that I get to see my own city from a different point of view and try to find like the best angles to show it off in the vlog as well. Because I really like Gothenburg, I think it's a great city. If you ever visit Sweden, this is definitely the place to go. Ask Leela. I'm just kidding. I didn't let her see that much of Gothenburg because we basically just hung out in the studio. <laughs> I wonder how many times I can walk through that door in this vlog, but I'm going to settle for two. <coughs> Much needed today. I was busy with my lunch. Okay, now we can talk a little bit about the vlogs. This video is going to be 
the 18th consecutive daily vlog that I'm uploading to this channel, while at the same time maintaining my videos on my main channel with one video a week. I think that the main reason that this works as of right now is because I'm not trying to come up with something extravagant to do. I'm basically just trying to capture my entire day in an interesting way and then compile that in into some sort of video with a very, very loose story that I edit the day after. And what I just said there, editing the day after is what is key to make the daily vlogs work for me. Because if I were to edit these in the same day as I'm actually shooting them, it would be so hard. Like I, I don't think I would manage to do that. And I think that the last time I tried to do daily vlogs on my main channel, that is exactly what it did. And that is also why I failed to keep up the pace. And I also think that this run of daily vlogs is a little bit different because I try to incorporate more of my private life and more of what I do and if a day turns out to be not that interesting and I try to turn that into something interesting to watch maybe with using montage or just a good song or something similar and then just compile that in something that might be enjoyable. I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be sustainable long term because recording daily vlogs is something that requires a lot of time and energy from you. But I'm very interested to see how this channel performs if I've been doing daily vlogs for exactly one month. And since this is going to be episode 87, I'm also very interested to see if we can make all the way up to episode 100 before I stop the daily uploading. Then after that, I guess we'll have to see. Scrolling back a little bit to why I'm not uploading more than one video a week on my main channel. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm not having as fun with those videos anymore compared to these vlogs right now. But that might also change in the future. The main channel is kind of like bringing in the money for me because I'm making way more money on my main channel than I am on this vlog channel. As of right now, I have made 3,792.5 Swedish crowns. Two US dollars. 3,792.5 is 435.8 dollars in 28 days. Honestly, I think that that is very good and also probably more than I thought I would be able to make on this vlog channel. But that is also why I'm very interested to see how the channel would perform if I make it like an entire month with daily uploads, because then I can compare the RPM, I can compare the CPM, the audience retention and all that good stuff towards my main channel. But um, the clock is currently 16.53 and I have to go home. See you tomorrow.